Hi there, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. Last week we looked at some tips on how to improve your productivity using OneDrive for Business. This week and week after I still wanted to stick with OneDrive for Business uh, because I, I, I think OneDrive for Business has a lot of potential Okay, so for, for, for your organization. So that's why I just want to stick with OneDrive for Business for the, next, uh, for the following two weeks as well. So this week, I'm going to talk completely about automations, you know, how you could actually uh, create some, you know, automated way to, you know, even, even boost up your productivity even further. So first up, uh, let, let, let's assume that, okay, you, you know, you're already using Dropbox, okay, and you don't want to uh, switch into OneDrive for business yet. But you do understand based on what, you know, my previous videos, we looked at the, you know, the benefits of using OneDrive. So you do understand that, you know, OneDrive for Business provides you you and your organization better um, productivity and also better features from more from a security and compliance point of view, okay? You do understand that. But you don't want to give up on the Dropbox or Box.net uh, as yet because most likely, let's say, you are, you are like, you know, you have an existing setup uh, using one uh, Dropbox, for example, let's say you you, you share your Dropbox with someone else, and, and they they upload files into your uh, Dropbox, or in, in, you know there could be other reasons why you wanted to stick with Dropbox as such, okay, for for the for the time being. So in this case, how do you actually make sure that the files in Dropbox or Box.net are compliant, or, or you know are are compliant with your business? You know this is a a, a an example that we come across with the executive teams and the sales teams okay so they actually wanted to stick with what they're currently using but they they um, so, so that they don't want it to disrupt their current workflow uh, so in that case what you do is use Microsoft flow to set up a connection between Dropbox and OneDrive so let's jump in and have a look uh, in how, how, how that actually works Okay, here we are on my PC, logged into my OneDrive for Business, and I also got my Dropbox set up as well. This is a, just a test account that I'm currently using, and you can see there's nothing in there, okay? So what I've done is I've actually, using Microsoft Flow, I've created a flow uh, using one of the Dropbox template. So I've created a, 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 a new flow using, say, which says, copy files to OneDrive for Business when they're added to Dropbox. This is a simple work, uh, this is a simple flow. And uh, as you can see from here, all it does is when a new file is created on the root of the Dropbox folder, it you know pushes uh, to the OneDrive for Business onto the root. Okay, you can go fancy. You probably you have a drop-off library inside your Dropbox. You can probably go and and uh, you know select that particular uh, location in, in Dropbox and then uh, you know go with it. Anyway, uh, you, you get the idea around the actual flow itself. So let's go ahead and test test this one out. So now, let, now let's go into Dropbox and let me drop a file here. As you can see, the file is just uploaded into Dropbox. And because we have the flow already uh, uh, configured, you can see that um, the flow has successfully run. And if I actually go back into my the flow, you can actually see the flow has executed you know, 13 seconds ago. Okay, both these actions were set up. Um, now, if I just go back, go into my OneDrive for business, you can see that few seconds ago, this particular file has been uploaded into OneDrive for business. There you go. That's a quick example of connecting Dropbox with OneDrive for business. Okay, um, this is only this only works when a new file is uploaded. It doesn't actually work. Uh, it doesn't provide a real-time sync though. For example, if you wanted to modify the file in Dropbox, it doesn't actually modify the, the same file in, in OneDrive for Business, okay? There's a different mechanism to achieve that, but uh, that's that, that's a different topic and I'll, we'll probably cover that in one of my other videos uh, down the track. Probably not on a vlog, probably I'll create a course around OneDrive for Business and we can, we can look in we can look into more advanced stuff in there, okay? For now, that's just a quick, uh, not a tip, but, as, but a quick example on how you could actually use Microsoft Flow to automate the connections between Dropbox and, and OneDrive for Business. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog, and I'll see you back in the next one. Cheers.